This is a lot of landslides. Ooh, look at this. Hmm. Day three, and we are ready to go. Today, the goal is Passo Croce Domini. A little bit of off-road again. Okay, Lake Guard on my background. Beautiful, beautiful place. And here I am, back in um, vlog mode. Look at this. Look at this place. My goodness. This is the first time for me that I do this road. I wanna go ahead here and, and try to do for the first time the Strada della Forra really famous and popular uh, road man this weather is so good wow Wow, wow, there's a like a cycle path and a walk path right next to here and it's crazy because it's next to the lake, look, you can actually see it from here, bikers, show bikers, hello, look, look, uh, it's, it's insane, insane, so glad that it's sunny, I can't believe that, like the temperature is great guys, I mean, I said it already, if you haven't seen the episode from yesterday, go and check it out here. Uh, it's 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 great because I've been riding off road and uh, dolomites and yeah, beautiful stuff. So go and check it out. By the way, I'm I'm running with my. I mean, I'm sure you've seen if you've seen my previous video. I've been using the Mitas. I've done like 600 kilometers with them. Mitas the E07 Plus on the rear. Dakar and E07 Dakar on the front. I have to say I'm, I'm finding them really really good. Maybe the front because the Dakar the E07 is not the same that E07 Plus. The front at the first like 200 kilometers it was very the vibration was pretty strong. I mean I was not used to it, but now I'm just getting used to it and not bad. I'm really curious to see how they wear how much they wear out uh, if you ride them on the asphalt because. I did basically really like 90% of the trip on the, on the asphalt so let's see when I get to Milan. Now I'm almost at 700 kilometers so we'll probably do uh, almost 1000 kilometers so I'm really curious to see how, how the, um, the, uh, the tires will, condition will be at the end of this. I mean fair to say guys I'm not lucky at all. It's closed and I don't know why Google Map didn't say that. Ah, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I mean, the road to comes down is incredible. I will take you a little bit up with me, guys, but look at this road. Oh, mama. Cyclist. Just a good way to test the new Mitas. We are almost at Salo. Guys, I didn't like this road. I mean, there's too many cars. I know it's a Sunday, so that's why, but I would heavily recommend if you guys decided to go along the lake, 
to do it sunrise otherwise just like ah, too much too many cars pretty annoying but what I really love about my country is that everyone loves motorcycles so look how many in front of me and there will be more we are approaching I think the start of the pass at some point still one hour to go but this is what I like about my country look how many bikers but look at this valley this is like the Alps uh, right in north of Bergamo Brescia and Milano and I mean most people underestimate the beauty of these places and I will show you once we once we get up because it's gonna be it's really nice oh it's beautiful typical little village we are climbing up I've never been here there are quite a lot of bikers behind us I don't think we are lucky today or or that's me that I should probably get a little bit informed better because it's closed again again so now I need to go back it's beautiful here it's pretty chilly but it's closed <sighs> I decided I, I'll give it a try and I'll go up stop let's see how it looks and if it's really bad and we, we go back because in theory the past is closed but I've seen so many motorbikes so they told me it's okay to go I mean it's the road is not bad so let's give it a try a little bit of landslides but nothing bad so far I mean look at this valley it's chilly, I know. Freaky. It is chilly, yes, but look at this valley. Like it doesn't look, it doesn't even look like um, Italy. It's like Switzerland. So nice. Oh look, there's a lot of a lot of stones here. let me check how it, how it's there I just don't wanna <coughs> because I'm by myself and it's good to see it's good to see how the road looks like here man this is like completely gone yeah, it should be fine yeah like here yeah maybe maybe like this is close no? yeah <laughs> yes! Alright! You know, sometimes when you're by yourself, I mean, this was nothing special, but you, you never know, you know, especially by yourself. But if, you, if I'm with other people, I think I'm uh, kind of safe. A lot of stones here. Ooh. Let's see 
how is the condition now? Man, there's a lot of landslides. Is it Lotus door? Yeah, okay. Let's see. First time on the snow, let's see what's gonna happen. I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, it's a little, little bit, but... I think I need to remove one of my pioneer. Oh my goodness. Okay. Is the stone here? Okay. Here. We should kind of go through, I guess. Safe! Ah. Wow! Ha <laughs> ha 
anything guys, but I think we need to go back now. Yeah. This is a farmer house or whatever, but look at this place. <laughs> so good. Maybe these are like stables. Yeah, I think they're stable. Look at the goats. Yeah. It's good to see that the... Nah, look at this. Front wheel was going for whatever they wanted. A little bit of water. Slowly, Giacomo is muddy. And now it's time to go down. If you guys enjoyed the trip, I mean, it was amazing. I really enjoyed this little adventure.